Hi, my name is Carsten Beinecke. I'm the CEO of AC Plant Consult. In this video, I show you Plant Sync, one of our plant tools. Plant Sync allows you to synchronize your projects. It compares the setting of a source project with the settings of target projects and can transfer the settings from the source to the target projects. Since the project settings of AutoCAD PNID are stored in various files, we wanted to have everything in one user interface. When you start Plant Sync, you have to select the source project first. By default, it is your current open project, but you can select other projects as well. Next, you must select one or more target projects. You can either select a single project or use the recently used ones or select a predefined path under which all your projects reside. Plan Sync will then list all your projects. Now you could select a sync configuration. We do not have one yet, so we just create one. Type in a name of your sync configuration. The reason for having a choice of sync settings is that at one time you may want to transfer the selection lists, where at another time you only want to take care of project reports. It allows you to be selective on what to sync. You see the settings in the user interface, how they appear in the project setup of AutoCAD PNID as well. For this presentation, we select the project properties, the drawing properties, the selection lists, and the properties and tags of classes. And the tags. In the lower left hand corner, you see the checkbox. Backup before synchronize. This should be checked always. It creates backups of the target files before they get modified. Now we can start the synchronize process. Plan Sync now starts comparing the source project with the target projects. Depending on the number of target projects, this may take a while. At the end, you get a window showing the result of the comparison. And now the classes of the second pro target project. So far, nothing has happened to the target projects. The green-blue circular icons show changes in that node of the tree. If you see also grey icons, it means that there are no changes. You can turn off all nodes which will not be changed by using the button Show only changes. Let's click on the drawing properties. You see there is a new category. When you click on the new category, you see the properties as well. Now let's click on the selection lists. You see a new list with a green plus sign and when you click on that, you see all the entries of the selection list. When you click on the list services, you see a new entry and the removal of two entries. When you go to the PNID classes, you see that there is a new tag definition of the hand valves. For the tag. 
and a new property for equipment. Finally, you click on Commit Changes as the final step. The process is done when the result window opens up and tells you that everything was successfully done. As you can see here. Now the target projects have the same settings as the source project. Thanks for listening and take a look at our other videos too.